Captain Nebeve? Huh? I got something you want. What? Well, out with it, girl. What is it? Oh, nothing. You do remember our deal, don't you? I? Um, remind me what the deal was again. That if I defeated Roper Clax and brought the wind back, you'd give me a lift to the Isle of Elias. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the day I see a girl like you bring down a powerful alchemist like Clax is the day I hire a woman to be my navigator. Well, look at this. <sighs> By the balance, girl. That's a strong grog you got there. What is it? Tyron spice wine? It's the wind. Watch this. Sweet job. That's a strong wind. You got some mighty powerful magic there, girl. And there's more where that came from. Care to share some of it with us? With that magic... We could make good time to Guillen, pick up a cargo full of apples, and be back here before the competition got, uh, wind of what was happening. Sure. If you give me a ride to Elias, as promised. Balance be cursed. Women aboard? When will it ever end? Jowls, bowels. Be here by this afternoon, or we'll sail without you. As if you'll get far without my wind magic. And you did say something about hiring a female navigator? Damnation! Do you insist on remembering every little thing I say, girl? Don't you know that Jal has forbidden women from riding the waves? Sounds like a bunch of sexist bullshit to me. But it's your choice. I got the wind in my pocket. Now you learn to treat women with a little respect. I've run out of curses, girl. Jal be damned, I am in desperate need of a navigator anyhow. All right, all right. You be here by this afternoon with your navigator. It's not as if I ever put much faith in the teachings of the drunken prophet Jal myself. Pardon me, ma'am. I am sorry, young woman, but I do not wish to speak with anyone presently. Pardon me for intruding, ma'am, but is your name Tunlayak? Yes, I am Tunlayak. I have a delivery for you. Oh, a map of the Northlands. I had almost forgotten I ordered it. Sorry about that. I came by a few days ago, but you weren't here. No, no, I was looking for work. <sighs> Thank you kindly, young woman. I will need this map now, if I am to make it to Khorasan by foot. Why are you going to Khorasan by foot? I can ill afford the cost of passage on a ship bound for the Bay of Fire, and since I do not have a job, nor the prospect of getting one, I have little choice. Are you from Khorasan? No, I am from the Southlands. I have never been to Khorasan. Then why are you going there? Because I am told that in Khorasan, captains allow women to join their crew. Here, in Mercuria, they do not. So I've been told but you shouldn't have to go somewhere else to get a job. That just isn't fair. Fair or not, it is custom. And custom is a difficult thing to change. Why are you so depressed? 
Is it that apparent to you? I do beg your pardon. It was not my intent to burden you with my dark mood. It's okay, I don't mind. I'd like to help if I can. I do not think you can. Unless you were the captain of a ship, and you could hire me as your navigator. But you are not, and so you cannot help me. Your navigator? Yes, and I have a letter to prove it. Do you want me to show it to you? No, I believe you. And you're looking for a job? I have been looking, now, for many moons. But most captains do not want women on their crew. And so I am leaving for Coruscant in the morning. I got a job for you, if you want it. A job? As a navigator? Yeah, on a boat called the White Dragon. We're leaving this afternoon, if you're interested. If you are serious, then yes. I am more than interested. But will the captain allow a woman as his navigator? This one will, trust me. Because if he doesn't, he's not going anywhere. Just pack your stuff and head down to the docks. Talk to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. Tell him I sent you. The name's April Ryan. Thank you, April. I am Tun Lyak. I am most grateful to you. Will you be going with us? Yeah, so I'll see you there. Thank you so much. You have returned from your trip north. It is good to see you again. I was concerned. You're worried about little old me? That's sweet. And guess what? I kicked some alchemist ass while I was up there. Bet you didn't think I'd be able to do that. Then you have lost your wager. I knew you would. After all, you are... I was worried because of the trouble in the West. What trouble? The Tyran. They left the city all as one, the evening before yesterday, and many of the vanguard with them. I fear there are dark times ahead. You don't mean war, do you? War, yes. It has been an age and a half since our last war with the Tyran. But relations have always been strained, and now... Whipped into religious fervor by the vanguard, the Tyran are thirsty for blood and for revenge. They are a people bound by violence and without honor, and easily seduced by the prospect of a holy war. God, that's horrible. But the city's safe, isn't it? It's a big city. Yes, but unfortunately not well armed. Mercuria has not seen war for centuries. And people grow soft, forget how to fight. It can easily be taken by a strong army. And so I fear our safety. And yours. What did you mean when you said, after all, you are... Forgive an old man his misgivings, April, but I should have trusted you before. Of course you should have. With what? With the truth. That you are the one who will watch over us for a thousand years. That you are of the balance, and the balance is in you. That you are the one born into the heaviest duty of them all. You are the guardian to be, April. The thirteenth guardian of the balance. 
No! No, that's a lie. I'm not your guardian. That's not possible. It is certain. I had my doubts, unfortunately. It could have cost us the balance, and I made a mistake. But it is certain now. You are stronger in the balance than anyone before you. God damn, Cortez! He didn't say anything about... If I'd known, I wouldn't have come here. I would have... I don't know what I would have done, but I wouldn't have come here. Maybe he did not know. Or maybe he did. And he knew it would be wiser not to tell you. But I am telling you now because you cannot stay here. You are too valuable. You must leave. I am leaving for Elias this afternoon. Good. The Tyran are not a seafaring people. And the islands are probably the safest place to be right now. Before you go, I want to give you something to carry with you. I spent the night looking for it in the Enclave. It has been gathering dust for over 10,000 years. Oh, Tobias, I can't accept anything that old. You are not accepting it. It is yours. The Fathers have only kept it safe for the day when the 13th Guardian would come to collect it. And now you are here. Please, take it. It is the Talisman of the Balance. Known to but a few, it is mentioned in one text only. The Scriptures of Reunification, one of the Thirteen Scriptures of the Balance. What does it do? The Scripture speaks not of its purpose, but it is yours, whatever it is. I am certain it will help you once you find its purpose. It has strong magic, very strong. Thanks, Tobias. I really do appreciate it, even though I wish I didn't have to accept it. You are the Guardian, child. Your fate is both glorious and terrible. But it is your fate. If you deny it, you deny our future. But I have faith in you, April. That's what I'm afraid of. What if I screw up? The balance provides. The balance protects. Trust the balance, and trust yourself. Goodbye, and good luck on your journey. Finally. We are ready. And we must away before it's too late. We still have another six or seven hours of daylight today. Come, come aboard. <laughs> 